Hi there, folks, and welcome back to Air Gun Reporter. My name is Paul Capello, and for today's episode, we're getting back to break barrel basics. I have a Beeman heavy target rifle here in 22 caliber. I've also got a 177 caliber Beeman Silver Sting. Let's go ahead and check them out. The heavy target rifle and silver sting brake barrels represent the air guns in Beeman's crossover series that bridges the gap between their value priced sportsman series with that of their R series air guns. With its ambidextrous hardwood stock, Monte Carlo cheek rest, and rubber recoil pad, the 22 caliber heavy target rifle is for those wanting the classic look of wood and steel in their air gun. Other features include a fluted shroud, blued steel finish on the receiver, automatic safety, and a two-stage adjustable trigger. The rifle came mounted with a Beeman 3-12x40 scope that was sighted in at 10 yards using field target special pellets. Finger turrets are a welcomed addition to this scope. The 177 caliber Silver Sting is built on the same platform as the heavy target rifle, but features an all-weather nickel finish and synthetic stock. It shares the same ambidextrous design with its big brother, as well as the fluted shroud, adjustable trigger, and automatic safety. An identical scope was also mounted and sighted in for us. Let's take these rifles up to the air lodge and check them out. Well, if you're a fan of the show, you know what comes first. That's the crony testing. I've got the Beeman Heavy Target Rifle, 22 caliber. First pellet is going to be the Beeman Field Target Specials. Let's see how it does. Well, we have our crony results here. The uh, Beeman Silver Sting 177 caliber with Kodiak heavies did an average of 820 feet per second. The highest being 829 feet per second, the lowest 808 feet per second. The extreme spread was 20.68, standard deviation 8.42. Now that's not too bad. Remember, these are right out of the box. Brake barrel air rifles take many thousands of rounds to break in. You should see these numbers even out. All right, for the Beeman Heavy Target Rifle, 22 caliber, I used Kodiaks. We have an average of 589 feet per second, the lowest being 583, the highest being 597. We have a standard deviation of 4.5 and an extreme spread of 13.7. That's not bad for a brake barrel out of the box once again. Now, the same air gun with Field and Target Specials, 22 caliber, We've got an average of 693 feet per second, the highest being 700, the lowest being 684. Here we have an extreme spread of 16 and a standard deviation of 5. That's not bad at all. Next up, we're going to do some target testing. Let's see how they do. Well, I've modified my artillery hold for the Beeman Heavy Target Rifle here. Instead of laying my hand flat on the bag, I'm holding it up on the sides of my fingers just like that. Now, this isn't the exact balance point of the rifle, but I'm just using my trigger finger and with slight pressure with my thumb to balance the rifle, let it kick as much as it wants here. Of course, the butt isn't tight against my shoulder. That'll never work for me. That seems to be really helping my groups down range. Now, like any brake barrel air rifle, they all have an attitude. Each one wants to be held differently to shoot uh, good groups down range. This one happens to like the one I've discovered after many hundreds of rounds. But uh, let's go ahead and see how we do. One little bit of advice I can give you when shooting any type of target, whether you're hunting or just punching paper, 
that's to follow through with your shot. What I mean by that is keep your eyeball in the scope after you take your shot. Train your body to remain perfectly still even after you've taken your shot. What that'll do is help train your muscles to remain as still as possible because you might find yourself moving your body as you're pulling the trigger or, or even before you're pulling the trigger and that's going to cause big problems downrange on your targets. The trigger on these rifles require the same breaking in process as the power plant does. Shoot it a lot and then shoot it some more. When all the metal parts mesh and find their sweet spot, you'll have a pretty decent trigger. The Silver Sting sound level maxed out at 102.7. Remember, this is just an informal test using an off-the-shelf sound pressure meter. The sound pressure level for the heavy target rifle came out to 103.5, which I'd say is average for a powerful brake barrel. Well folks, in my opinion, these brake barrels from Beeman represent a pretty good bargain. Yes, they're made in China, however, it seems they have a tight hold on the quality control from the factory they're using. The fit and finish is very good for its class. Accuracy was excellent once I found the proper hold techniques. At about 10 pounds each and a cocking effort of 35 pounds, these rifles are most definitely adult-sized. If your budget is modest and you're looking for the Beeman name, you may want to consider the Heavy Target Rifle and Silver Sting. Please remember folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious injury if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at a person. Parents, if you teach your kids to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment. My name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun. <laughs>